to create the data model we'll be bringing all the data sets one by one into our power bi so first i'll bring the address so i'll double click on it small pop-up window will be opening i'll choose the table or the data where it's present click on load and it will be loaded quickly into the power bi we have to allow a few moments to get it loaded into the power bi and as you can see it has loaded in the right hand side so i'll bring the next one that is customer customers table i'll choose on this and click on load it will be coming in the power bi quickly it has come and next table is date table i click on workbook click on date table double click on it i'll choose where the data is present click on load it has been loaded and the next table will be employee table i'll click double click on it and i'll choose the data where it is present click on load next i'll be bringing the expense table i'll double click on it and choose where the data is present so it is present in sheet one i'll choose i'll click on this and click on load and as you can see our sheet one has come so i have to change the table name i will be changing it to expense and hit enter again i will go to the home and this time i will get the payment mode i will double click on it and i will choose the payment mode click on load and it has been popped up over here and this time i will get the product table I'll double click on it. I'll click on products, click on load, and it has been loaded over here. Um, I think we have already covered for expense, so I'll bring the product table. Oh, okay, so product uh, is already here, so let me cancel it. So this time i'll bring the revenue versus expense so i'll double click on it choose this sheet one and click on load and this time also i have to change this name as revenue versus expense i'll quickly type it the revenue versus expense and hit the enter key now next table will be bringing the sales and I'll double click on it. I'll choose the sales and click on load. Next table I'll be bringing the store table. So I'll double click on it. I'll choose the store and click on load. Now I'll get the supplier table. I'll double click on it. I'll choose the supplier tab and click on load. Next one is supplier transactions. And this time also I have to change the tab name so let me first get the data and once it is loaded I'll be changing the table name from table 1 I have to change the suppliers transactions and hit the enter key transactions T -R -A -N -S -S -A -C -T -R -O -N -S, transactions and hit the enter key okay and now let's bring the transaction mode table which is our next table so transaction mode i'll double click on it i'll choose the table transaction click on load
now all our data model data has been loaded into the power bi now let's go to the model view and that is present in the left hand side you can see the this corner there is model view and you can see all the tables it has been present so if i click on this so you can see all the data it is present and it will be coming in one single view so now let's quickly rearrange all this if i uh, drag this sliding bar using sliding bar we can uh, slide it to the left to the right or right to the left now let's quickly arrange all our fact table in the bottom side which is the many uh, sides of the table mm, and all the single value or which is the dimension table i'll try to keep all of the dimension table in the upper side and all the fact tables in the downside so for that let me quickly arrange all these uh, tables mm, we can select multiple tables and by clicking the all of them and holding the control key and drag it to the left hand side so you can see uh, all the things all the tables has come together uh, in single shot now i'm trying to make them fit in the visible area so for that i'm quickly rearranging this I'll click all of them by pressing the control key and drag it to the left hand side quickly rearrange all of these dimension table in the bottom side so dimension tables in the top side and uh, fact tables in the bottom side so as you can see some of the lines are uh, solid lines that mean those are uh, direct connections and those are uh, or the primary connection and some of the connections it is uh, the dotted line so dotted line lines means the table which contains the two uh, connections so one of them is primary the solid one is the primary and the dotted one was is secondary we can change the properties of the uh, of them uh, of the of those connections um, so that we'll be seeing in the subsequent lectures in the upcoming videos but uh, as of now the solid lines represents that they are the primary connection between two tables and one means one one uh, times that uh, that table has and the many many or the asterisk sign it representing the fact table uh, or the uh, multiple times the values has been represented uh, in that subsequent tables or their respective tables so uh, that's how we are uh, done with the data modeling and as all as you can see that uh, the connections between tables it has been auto detect uh, it has been established through the auto detection mode uh, we have not done anything uh, or we have not uh, modified these connections between two tables uh, it all have the connection it has been established through the auto detection so for time being i'm keeping these all these data models and the connection as it is i'm just uh, trying to keep all the fact tables in the bottom side and all the dimension tables in the top side and trying to fit in our visible window and i'll quickly rearrange i'm trying to quickly rearrange all of these tables so that it looks nice and also we can distinguish distinguish between all our tables uh, so um, after connecting after uh, creating or importing all this table inside this power bi uh, i'll also uh, explain quickly what are what how many tables we have and what are the types 
and their descriptions so uh, i'll need few more minutes to quickly rearrange this so that all our tables will be uh, visible in a, through our visible window now this looks a little bit better compared to the previous one um, as you can see that date and address these two table it has not connected but that's fine uh, i have done it purposefully so uh, it doesn't mean that always whatever the tables we Im will be importing into the power bi all will be auto detected so sometimes it will be auto detected sometimes it will not be uh, but as of now we are done with our data module and uh, roughly it has created uh, its connection through the intelligence and this is the tables uh, which i was talking about and uh, these are the tables uh, around 13 tables we have the first table is date table the table type is date and it contains the date next is the employee and it's a dimension contain the store employee details next is payment mode it's a dimension describes the payment details next one is product table and next one is transaction mode the next one is customer table it's a dimension and contain the customer details next one is store table dimension table and next one is supplier table which is a dimension and next table is expense table that is also dimension and next one is revenue versus expenses which is also dimension table and the next one is supplier transaction which is also so supplier transaction is uh, is a fact table it's not a dim table and the last one we have is sales table and sales table is also a fact table so that's all for now if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel till then take care bye bye and i'll see you with another new exciting video thank you bye bye